All right, dream enthusiasts gather round. Ever woken up from a dream where you were just like strolling around barefoot and thought, what in the world was that about? Mm. Well, today's deep dive is tailor-made for you. Yeah. We are cracking open the fascinating world of dream interpretation. Yeah, okay. Specifically, the symbolism of bare feet. What's so captivating about this topic is how these dream interpretations can vary across different cultures. Right. Our exploration today centers around an Arabic text that decodes this symbolism. Okay. Focusing on the dreamer status, single women, married women, and young men. Okay, so let's dive right in. We've got the translations ready. And believe me, this is where things get juicy. Oh, yeah. Apparently, a simple barefoot walk in your dream can symbolize a whole spectrum of meanings. Uh -huh. From upcoming marriages to hidden anxieties. Yeah. Even potential conflicts with your loved ones. Oh, wow. It's like your subconscious is sending you a coded message. Interesting. And we're here to help you decipher it. Precisely. And what strikes me immediately in this text is the recurring theme of vulnerability. Okay. Think about it. Walking barefoot exposes us, leaving us susceptible to the textures of the ground, the elements. Yeah. It's a raw, unfiltered experience. Right. This resonates with how we might feel in our waking lives. Yeah. Especially when we're navigating uncertainties or potential challenges. That's such an insightful observation. It's like our dreams are mirroring those feelings of being exposed or a little uh, off balance. Legitics. So let's start with the single ladies. Okay. The text suggests that for unmarried women, walking barefoot can actually be a positive sign. Really? Particularly hinting at a possible marriage in the near future. Wow. And if someone offers you shoes in the dream, mm. even better. Mm -hmm. It amplifies the likelihood of your dreams coming true. Interesting. Now, who wouldn't love a dream like that? It's intriguing how shoes, in this context, symbolize protection and support. Right. Perhaps signifying the stability and security often associated with marriage. But remember, the world of dreams isn't always a fairy tale. And that's where things take a bit of a turn. If a single woman dreams of running barefoot, oh. there's like a warning flag. There might be trouble brewing on the horizon. Mm -hmm. And if those barefoot walks involve pain... Ah. Like stepping on thorns? Right. That points to some serious difficulties in her waking life. This underscores the importance of those tiny details within the dream. Right. The act of running barefoot could symbolize a desperate attempt to escape something. Yeah. Or a feeling of being pursued. Interesting. While the pain from the thorns might represent the intensity of the issues she's confronting. It's like our dreams are speaking in metaphors. Yeah. Using physical sensations to express emotional states. That's right. Now hold on to your hats because it gets even more specific. Okay. The text says that if a single woman sees other people she knows walking barefoot, it could foreshadow family disagreements and potential heartbreak. Wow. And if she's walking on damp ground barefoot, there might be some sadness coming her way. Oh, no. But thankfully, it suggests it will be fleeting. Okay, that's good. Two. These interpretations seem to revolve around the anxieties and complexities of relationships. Yeah. Particularly for single women. Right. It prompts us to ask, what aspects of your relationships might be causing you discomfort or stress? Mm. Are there underlying issues that need to be addressed? Exactly. It's like a dream checklist for your relationships. Yeah. And get this. If a single woman is walking barefoot with her fiancé in the dream, but feeling uneasy, uh -oh. that could indicate tension or disagreements brewing within the relationship. It's fascinating how this seemingly simple act of walking barefoot can carry such diverse interpretations right. shaped by the individual and their state of life. So much food for thought already, and we haven't even touched upon married women and young men. But before we move on, let's pause for a moment and consider the broader implications of what we've discussed so far. Absolutely. One striking element is how these interpretations often tie back to the concept of vulnerability. Okay. The bare feet, exposed and susceptible, might be reflecting a deeper sense of unease or insecurity that the dreamer is grappling with in their waking life. That's a powerful insight. It's like our dreams are urging us to pay attention to those feelings of vulnerability, to acknowledge them and perhaps even explore what might be causing them. Precisely. And by understanding these underlying emotions, we can gain valuable insights into ourselves and potentially address the challenges we're facing in a more conscious and empowered way. I love how these dream interpretations can offer a pathway to self-discovery. Me too. It's like holding up a mirror to our subconscious and seeing reflections we might not have noticed otherwise.
And as we delve deeper into this Arabic text, we'll continue to uncover more layers of meaning. Okay. Exploring how the symbolism of walking barefoot unfolds differently for married women and young men. So stay tuned, dream explorers, because our journey into the realm of bare feet and their hidden messages has only just begun. Welcome back, dream adventurers. We're continuing our exploration of the symbolism of walking barefoot in dreams. Yeah. Guided by the interpretations from our Arabic text. And we're just getting warmed up. Mm -hmm. Before we jumped into the specifics for single women, you mentioned how bare feet in dreams often connect to feelings of vulnerability. Right. I was thinking, couldn't that also relate to our physical senses? Mm -hmm. Walking barefoot really makes you aware of what's under your feet. Absolutely. When you're barefoot, you're hyper aware of the ground beneath you. Yeah. The texture, the temperature, right. every little bump or pebble. Yeah. This heightened sensory experience could mirror how sensitive or exposed we're feeling emotionally in our waking lives. Like our dreams are saying, hey, pay attention. Mm -hmm. Things might feel a little rough right now mm -hmm. to tread carefully. Precisely. And this brings us to another layer of meaning within this text. The specific type of ground you're walking on plays a significant role in the interpretation. Oh, yeah. The text mentions everything from thorns and damp earth to dry, hard ground. Yeah. It's like a dream obstacle course for your emotions. Indeed. And each type of terrain seems to carry its own symbolic weight. Okay. For instance, walking barefoot on thorns often signifies pain and difficulty. Right. But as we saw with the young man who felt no pain, mm -hmm. it can also suggest emotional detachment or numbness. So feeling the pain in a strange way might actually be a healthier sign. It means you're still connected to your emotions and processing them. That's a very insightful interpretation. Yeah. It suggests that acknowledging and working through challenging emotions, okay. even if it's painful, can be more beneficial than suppressing them. Makes sense. What about walking on damp ground? We learned that for single women, it could symbolize sadness. Right. But one that passes quickly? Yeah. Is that always the case? Mm. Or does the meaning change depending on who's dreaming? While this specific text doesn't delve into that, okay. I think it's safe to say that the overall context of the dream is crucial. Right. For example, if the damp ground is associated with feelings of peace or tranquility, uh -huh. it might carry a different meaning than if it evokes fear or discomfort. So it's all about the vibe. Like, is it a peaceful morning dew situation? Yeah. Or a creepy swamp monster lurking situation? Exactly. The emotional tone of the dream is key to understanding the symbolism. All right, dream detectives. Let's put our skills to the test. Okay. What about walking barefoot on dry ground? We know it's not a good sign for married women, hmm. often indicating pressure and stress. Right. But what could it mean for others? The text doesn't explicitly address that scenario. Okay. But if we consider dry ground as representing a lack of nourishment or support, yeah. it could symbolize feeling depleted or isolated in some area of life. Ooh, that's a powerful image. Yeah. It's like the ground itself can't offer you any comfort or stability. Precisely. Yeah. It evokes a sense of barrenness or difficulty, right. reflecting the challenges the dreamer might be facing. So if you find yourself wandering barefoot in a parched desert in your dream, it might be a good time to check in with yourself and see where you might be feeling drained or unsupported in your waking life. Excellent point. And remember, this is just one interpretation among many. Right. Dream analysis is a highly personal process. Okay. So it's essential to consider your own unique experiences and associations when deciphering those dream messages. So true. Yeah. Now, we've talked about the ground, the emotions, the people you're with. Yeah. But what about the shoes themselves? We touched on how being offered shoes can be a positive sign for single women. Uh -huh. But what if you're frantically searching for shoes while barefoot? The text mentioned that for married women, it could point to marital problems. Right. Does that apply across the board? It's certainly possible. Okay. But again, context is everything. Right. Shoes often represent protection grounding, yeah. Yeah. and even our identity in the world. Okay. So desperately searching for shoes could symbolize feeling vulnerable, right. lost, or longing for a sense of belonging. It's like you're saying, I'm not equipped to face this world barefoot. Yeah. I need something to help me feel safe and secure. Exactly. And the fact that you can't find them in the dream suggests difficulty accessing those resources or feeling grounded. This is making so much sense. Yeah. It's like our dreams are speaking a secret language. Mm. And with little guidance, we can start to understand what they're trying to tell us. And the more we explore this language, right? the more we can learn about ourselves, okay. our anxieties, yeah. our desires, yeah. and ultimately our path forward. 
I'm loving this deep dive. Yeah. But I have to ask. Yeah. Are there any instances where walking barefoot in a dream is just walking barefoot? No hidden meaning. Mm. Just enjoying the sensation. That's an excellent question. Yeah. While this specific text focuses on symbolic interpretations, yeah. it's important to remember that dreams can also be a reflection of our daily experiences. Right. Or simply our subconscious processing sensory information. So if I spent the day at the beach feeling the sand between my toes, mm -hmm. it's not necessarily a bad omen if I dream about it that night. Not necessarily. It could simply be your mind replaying a pleasurable experience. Okay. However, it's always worth paying attention to the emotions and details of the dream. Oh. Even if it's rooted in a real-life event, uh. there might still be a deeper message or insight woven into the narrative. Okay, so no dream detail is too small to ignore. It's all potentially meaningful. Precisely. And that's what makes dream interpretation so fascinating and endlessly complex. Right. There's always more to uncover. Speaking of uncovering more. Yeah. We've covered a lot of ground already. Uh -huh. But there's still one more group we haven't talked about. Sure. The people we walk barefoot with in our dreams. Oh, yes. The companions on our barefoot journeys. Their presence can add another layer of meaning to the dream's message. Exactly. We briefly touched on walking barefoot with a fiancé or loved ones. Right. But what if you're walking with strangers or even enemies? <laughs> That's where it gets really interesting. The text doesn't explicitly address those scenarios. But if we consider the general principle that those we dream about often represent aspects of ourselves, yeah. walking with strangers could symbolize encountering unknown parts of our psyche mm -hmm. or navigating unfamiliar social situations. Ooh, so meeting a stranger in your dream could be like meeting a hidden part of yourself. That's kind of mind blowing. It is, isn't it? It suggests that our dreams can be a space for integrating different aspects of our personality or exploring hidden potentials. What about walking barefoot with enemies? That sounds intense. It certainly can be. Dreaming of enemies often represents unresolved conflicts mm -hmm. or those shadow aspects of ourselves that we might be projecting onto others. Yeah. Walking barefoot with them could symbolize a confrontation with these challenging parts of our psyche Okay. and need to find a way to reconcile with them. It's like our dreams are staging a showdown between our inner good guy and bad guy, and everyone's barefoot, so it's extra intense. A very vivid analogy. It highlights the potential for growth and transformation that can come from facing our inner demons and working through challenging emotions. So even the most unsettling dreams can hold valuable lessons and opportunities for healing. Absolutely. It's all about approaching them with curiosity and an open mind. Well, this deep dive has definitely opened my mind to the fascinating world of barefoot dream symbolism. We've covered so much ground already, from the emotional significance of walking barefoot to the importance of specific details like the terrain and the people we're with. Yeah. But before we wrap up, there's one more crucial aspect of dream interpretation we need to address. You know, as we've been like diving deep into this Arabic text and its interpretations, I've uh, been thinking, yeah, it's great for understanding like some general meanings. <laughs> but doesn't it ultimately come down to the individual and what bare feet mean to them? Absolutely. Mm. We've explored these interpretations as a framework. Right. But the real magic happens when each dreamer taps into their own experiences, okay. beliefs, and emotional landscape. It's like having a map. Yeah. But you still need to know where you are and where you want to go to actually navigate. A brilliant analogy. For instance, while the text links walking barefoot on dry ground with stress and hardship, uh -huh. for someone who finds peace in connecting with nature... Right. It might actually represent a sense of freedom and grounding. I can see that. For an avid hiker, feeling the earth beneath their feet could be incredibly comforting and empowering. Yeah. Even if the ground is rough. Exactly. So when you're reflecting on your own barefoot dreams, ask yourself. Okay. What do bare feet symbolize for you? Mm. What emotions come up when you picture yourself walking barefoot in various scenarios? And like we've been talking about, the context is key. Mm. Is it a feeling of liberation? Yeah. Or is there a sense of vulnerability and anxiety? Precisely. Okay. Tune into those subtle nuances. Yeah. The textures, the temperatures, the overall emotional tone of the dream. Right. These details are like clues leading you to the message your subconscious is trying to convey. It strikes me that our dreams are almost like poetry. Mm. Using symbols and metaphors to express what our waking minds might not be ready to face head on. 
Well said. And the process of dream interpretation is like learning to read this poetic language. Okay. It's about uncovering those hidden meanings and insights, yeah, yeah. which can lead to greater self-awareness and personal growth. So as we wrap up this deep dive, hmm. what's the key takeaway for our listeners who find themselves walking barefoot in dreamland? What should they be paying attention to? Embrace the uniqueness of your own dream language. Okay. Don't be afraid to question the traditional interpretations if they don't resonate with your personal experience. Mm. Trust your intuition and allow those dreams to guide you on a journey of self-discovery. Love that. So the next time you're wandering barefoot in a dream, really pay attention to those details. The ground beneath your feet. Yeah. The emotions you're feeling. Right. The people you're with. Mm -hmm. And most importantly, how it all makes you feel. And don't forget that sense of curiosity. Explore the symbolism. Okay. Journal your thoughts and feelings and see what insights emerge. Who would have thought bare feet could be so profound? It's amazing how such a simple act can hold so much meaning in the world of dreams. Indeed. Yeah. It makes you wonder, are bare feet in dreams ultimately a symbol of vulnerability or of liberation? Perhaps it's both. Right. Depending on the individual and their unique journey. That's such a great thought to leave our listeners with. Yeah. We've covered so much. Cultural interpretations, mm. the emotional nuances, yeah. the importance of personal reflection. Right. But ultimately, the true meaning of those barefoot dreams lies within you. So keep exploring, keep dreaming, and keep walking your own path, mm. barefoot or otherwise. And until next time, keep those dream journals handy and those minds wide open. Yeah. Sweet dreams. Mm.